Welcome back. In this topic, we'll explore how Excel and Word work together. Our rooms are each unique, and the rate for each room varies depending upon the time of year and the type of room. And to keep all of this straight, I've started an Excel worksheet. We'll place our worksheet at the bottom of the page. We scroll the window down and click to place our insertion point. Next, we'll add the worksheet using the Insert menu. We open the menu and choose the Object command. When we click on it, the Object dialog box opens to the Create New tab. We already have our worksheet started, so we click on the Create from File tab. We'll browse the files in our computer to find our Rates worksheet. When we click on the Browse button, the contents of the My Documents folder displays. To select our file Rates, we double-click on it. When we click on OK, the dialog box is closed and our worksheet displays. We need to add a formula to this worksheet to determine the seasonal rate for each room. Before we can do that, we must first activate the worksheet. We double-click on it, and our worksheet is open for editing. The Excel toolbars display and offer options for working with formulas, number formats, and even working with the Internet. Our formula will be placed in cell C2, so we click there to begin. Because our rooms are in more demand at peak season, we typically charge 25% above the base rate. To do this, we'll create a formula. To start our formula, we click on the equal sign in the formula bar. A new menu bar displays ready to help. We type standard and type an asterisk for multiplication. Then we type 25%. As we type, the formula results appear in the bar below. Next, we'll add this figure to the standard rate to arrive at our seasonal room rate. We type plus standard. Our answer displays. When we click on the OK button, our formula is inserted into the worksheet. The result displays in cell C2. Now that was fast. Next, we'll copy our formula down the column using the autofill handle, a quick and easy way to copy formulas. We'll enlarge our worksheet slightly so we can see the auto-fill handle. We click on the resize handle and drag it out slightly. There! When we position the pointer over the lower right corner of the cell, the auto-fill handle appears. When we drag the handle, the formula is copied down the column. Well, this worksheet has all the numbers it needs, but it still seems to need a bit of pizzazz. Excel has a feature designed to do just that, auto format. Let's take a look. We'll use the auto format command on, where else, the format menu. We click on it and click on auto format. The dialog box opens and displays a sample format. Each pre-designed auto format contains formats for numbers, lines, and colors. We'll try colorful one. We can try out any of these formats for a worksheet just by clicking on them. We can customize which auto format features we wish to apply. We'd like to keep our current number format. To do this, we click on the Options button and deselect the Number Format checkbox. When we click on the OK button, the format is applied and our worksheet shows our new formatting. When we click away from the worksheet, our Word menus and tools redisplay. We'll save our work in progress with a Save button. You've seen how easy it is to work with Excel inside of Word. Having all of the Office tools available no matter what program we use makes getting our work done so much easier. Take a few moments now and practice what you've learned.